Hi everyone, my name is Urvi Gupta and I'm the one who started this program called One in Math. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what One in Math is and how it's organized. One in Math is a self-paced and independent program that strives to allow young kids to build a strong foundation in basic math. So we do this by trying to individualize the process of learning math for each student. It's for grades K-3 through and it's a free program run by volunteers. So like I mentioned earlier, our goal is to build strong foundations in basic arithmetic in young kids. And we do this using four different things, science, tutoring, practice, and commitment. And these are basically the four pillars of our program. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how our program is organized. So the first thing you have to know um, are something called modules. So modules are basically a collection of packets or booklets. And it's our kind of our biggest section in the entire program. So after modules, you have booklets or packets. And... Um, these are basically 10 to 12 pages of um, just math that are divided into topics. And these booklets or packets are made out of practice sheets, and we have different types of practice sheets that we use. And then you have videos. So this is a list of all the modules that we have, and you can also see them on our website. So as you can see, um, they're all the names are all in a similar fashion, are all kind of written in a similar fashion. So first you have either add, subtract, multiply, or divide, and then you have two sets of numbers. So these numbers tell you what are the range of numbers that you, the two numbers in the problem. So let's say you had add 0 through 5 to 0 through 5. So this means that you're adding, and the two numbers, so blank plus blank, are both between 0 and 5. So you would have problems like 2 plus 3, 4 plus 1, 2 plus 5, and things like that. So going down to booklets, so in each module you have a section of booklets. So these are all the booklets in the module add 0 through 5 to 0 through 5. So as you can see, you have basic booklets like add 1, add 2, add 3, add 4, and add 5, and add 0. Then you have some other booklets like facts, sums, doubles, and at the very end you have an evaluation packet. So basically each booklet is made out of, of different practice sheets, and we have, um, and they're all kind of, so all the booklets are kind of in a general order, but you start off usually with, um, simpler problems that go in an order and you kind of become more randomized as the packet goes on. And along with these practice sheets or booklets you have videos. So um, these videos can be either drill videos or concept videos. I'll talk about this a little bit later. So like I mentioned earlier, each booklet has an evaluation packet at the end um, called eval packets. So this basically helps us test the student after they've done all the packets to make sure that they know the information and are ready to move on to the next module. Also under modules, we have help sheets. Help sheets are things like number lines, and we have different uh, lengths of number lines, and this is to help the student um, basically learn the material quicker and kind of have a visual representation of the problem. Then you have review packets, and review packets are basically to help kids, well, review. And basically these packets allow them to review an entire module without having to go through every single packet that, we, that are in each of the modules. Um, so basically, you can go back and do a packet really quickly and it'll help them kind of refresh their memory and be able to do things that more advanced things that they're doing right now. Then you have diagnostic packets and this these diagnostic packets are basically to help us determine um, students level and where we should kind of start them in our program and this is to make sure that they're not doing something that's way below their level and not something that's way above their level so we kind of figure out where they are and start them at a comfortable place. So let's take a tour of our website if you go to www.wonderMath.com and you click on Sheets and Videos, as you can see here, you're going to come to a screen like this. So on your left-hand side, you see a list of modules. These are all the modules, and you can kind of scroll down a little bit, and you'll, there are a couple more. And when you click on them, this is kind of the page that you come up with. So this tells you um, which module you're on currently. Each time there's a blue bar, it indicates that this is a new booklet. So it tells you what's the name of the booklet. Is it add instructions, add one, and you have more if you scroll down. And then it gives you different types of practice sheets. You have four different options here. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. You have either with answers or without answers. And as you get to some of the harder um, sections, then it's easier to print it out with answers. So you know you can quickly check over your students' um, answers instead of having to yourself calculate it. So besides practice sheets, you have alternate sheets, and basically alternate sheets are the same thing as practice sheets, meaning that you learn the same concept, except the problems are different. So basically, if you want them to review that same concept, they won't be just copying down the problems from the last packet. 
And then you have videos. So if we have videos for any of the packets, then you can find them here linked um, on this page or you can find them on our YouTube channel. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how um, our packet sheets are named. So basically on the bottom of each packet sheet, you're gonna see sort of um, a name of some sort and I'm gonna break it down for you. So how it's, how it's written is you have the module name, booklet name, and then the sheet name. So this is a screenshot of what the bottom of a booklet could look like. And so this first part, so the add 69 to 0 through 5, is the module name. Um, then you have a packet name, which is add 5, and then you have the sheet name. Now the sheet name isn't really that relevant, but the other two definitely will help you figure out which packet they're on um, at any page that they're, that they're working on, so you don't have to flip to the front of the packet. Um, so a little bit more about videos. So many of our booklets have videos that are attached or kind of um, linked to those to help us to help them your kids learn. Um, so there's two different types of videos. You have concept videos and drill videos. So concept videos are basically to help the kids learn a certain topic or a certain concept. And drill videos are basically for them to they can watch the video and quickly go through a set of problems, um, kind of get a refresher, just review, or just learn or whatever it is. But um, those are helpful after you take, watch the concept videos most likely. So we're always creating new videos, but you can find our videos either on our YouTube channel or on the website, and you can watch them as you see fit.